Hey Virgo, we're here for your monthly tarot love reading for May 2024. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and for any of you dealing with a Virgo romantically. Now I do like to remind you, Virgo, it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate, and you're welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Now, before I jump into it, I do want to remind you that if you'd like to get a personal tarot reading from me, I do offer those through my Etsy shop. Now, they are different style than what I do on YouTube. I offer written tarot readings through Etsy. If you're interested in checking out what I've got available, the link is just in the description box below this video. So without further ado, we're going to jump in and we're going to see what's coming towards you this month. I am feeling very happy, very excited. The sun is out, the birds are tripping outside my window, and I'm just feeling very happy with all of the sunshiny, beautiful vibes for this month. And I just hope that wherever you are right now, Virgo, you've got something to smile about and that you've got some sunshine in your life as well. So let's jump in and let's see what's coming toward Virgo for the month of May. First card out, Three of Wands. Three of Wands is a card about opportunities coming into our lives. I kind of feel like there could be something happening this month that you've been waiting for. Now it's a general reading, so everybody's gonna be waiting for something different. But if you're a single Virgo, maybe you've been waiting for new love. If you're in a relationship, maybe you've been waiting for the next step in the relationship. So we'll see where this goes for you. Tell me more about what's coming toward Virgo this month. <laughs> Knight of Wands, we love that for you, Virgo. Fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So here's the thing. Somebody is charging into your life this month and passionately pursuing you. If you're single, I feel like this is a really good indicator that you're gonna be connecting with somebody where there's honestly just this passion and this chemistry and they're gonna be pursuing you. You're not gonna be pursuing them. They're gonna be coming towards you, expressing interest, showing that they're into you. And I think it's gonna feel really, really good. Now, for those of you in a relationship, it kind of feels like there's this very exciting energy of things really moving forward. So you could find that the momentum in your relationship is really picking up speed this month and things are starting to progress in a beautiful way. I love that. All right, tell me more about what's coming toward Virgo this month. And then we've got the Queen of Swords, lovely. I love that. Air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's passion, there's communication, there's deep conversations, there's talking about the future. I feel like things are just moving forward for you this month. And like I said, if you're a single Virgo, we've got fire energy, we've got air energy, we've got people showing up for you. And maybe even some of you are gonna be in a situation where there's a couple of people who are interested in you and you're gonna have to decide what you wanna do. But regardless of who you're connecting with, there's a lot of fire and passion, but I also feel like the Queen of Swords is indicating that there's a clear direction. So it's like, that passion is really being channeled into this beautiful momentum between you and your person. So that passion is moving things forward. And I feel like there's a lot of conversation and a lot of communication about where things are going, how you feel about each other, what you want in the future. And it just feels like a really good month for things to pick up speed when it comes to love. This is a really nice overall energy for you, Virgo. Now, what I wanna do for the rest of the reading today is to look more at this person. Like I said, they could be new love or it could be your current partner. We're gonna look at their general energy, what they're feeling and what actions they're taking. And then I'm gonna look at the same thing for you, Virgo, and we will look at the potential outcome here at the end. So tell me about this person who Virgo is involved with this month. <laughs> Strength card, I love that. So we've got this beautiful Leo energy. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a Leo sun and I'm a Virgo moon. So I'm here representing <laughs> both sides of the table. Now with the strength card, it's beautiful. To me, this represents that your person has very strong feelings for you, obviously, right Virgo? They have strong feelings. These feelings continue to grow. I think these feelings are going to continue to get stronger and stronger as the month goes on. And it's almost like that unbreakable bond. It's a sense that the two of you can get through anything. And I will sometimes say to you, for those of you in a relationship, I feel like the strength card can sometimes acknowledge the fact that you've potentially gone through some challenges within the relationship, 
but it's also acknowledging the fact that whatever those challenges are, they have made the two of you even more committed. And essentially what it has done is it has strengthened the connection between the two of you. Tell me more about this person, please. Oh, interesting. Three of swords. Well, maybe the reason that this person has become stronger is because they've gone through a breakup. This person could be coming in after coming off of a tough breakup. What I'm picking up on here, Virgo, is that this person may have been with somebody and they were broken up with. Like I'm getting the energy here of somebody who was blindsided by a breakup and it really hurt, but the person came out stronger. And so I feel like your person's last relationship was potentially really challenging for them, Virgo, where maybe somebody broke up with them unexpectedly and they've been working on becoming stronger and really building themselves back up and having that inner strength to move forward. Interesting. Tell me more. And then the two of pentacles. Oh, okay. There's going to be some potentially interesting stuff going on with your person this month, Virgo. So let's break it down. I think your person is very into you, but I also think there is the potential here for you to pick up on some confusing energy this month. And I'm going to tell you what it is. I feel like what's happening is that your person has still got some emotional healing that they need to do because of a past breakup. Like I said, I feel like they didn't see the breakup coming. And I feel like when you don't see a breakup coming, it can be harder for some people to move on emotionally because they didn't see it coming, right? So it's not like they've been preparing for it. Now, I feel like what's happening is they're connecting with you, but they've still got some of that emotional heaviness because of whatever that heartbreaking situation was that they experienced. And so they're wanting to connect with you and they're wanting to build that relationship, but they're also wondering, you know, am I ready for this? Am I ready to take that leap? And I see them juggling their feelings here with that two of pentacles where they're like, okay, well, I really wanna connect with Virgo. Am I ready? Um, is it fair for me to get into another relationship? Like I'm getting something around, is it fair for me to be dating Virgo when I know I've still got some emotional baggage that I'm working through? Now, my personal opinion on this, take it or leave it, this is not a tarot thing. When I see something like this, I think the important thing is asking yourself, is the person doing the work they need to do to move on from whatever emotional baggage they have? Because I don't personally think it's realistic for somebody to come into a relationship completely healed from everything they've ever experienced. But what I do think is important is that they're committed to doing the work, right? So as long as this person is committed to working through whatever that emotional pain is for them, that's a good thing. But if they're showing up with this emotional pain and they're not doing anything to address it, it could potentially be problematic. So let's see. Tell me what this person is feeling this month. Okay. Four of Wands. So obviously when they think of the connection between the two of you, Virgo, they see a future. They see the two of you getting married. They see commitment. And so the stakes are high, right? This is not a casual dating type of situation. This is a dating situation where the two of you are definitely thinking about a future together. I also think that they're wanting to take the next step in your relationship, but I just keep hearing, am I ready? It's like there's a little bit of hesitancy that I feel coming through for your person. And I don't think it's about you, Virgo, to be clear. Like I said, I think your person realizes they've still got something in their life that they need to deal with and they want to take the next step with you, but they're worried about this other situation. So the example that's coming into my mind is maybe they want to take the next step. Maybe they want to move in with you but perhaps they're going through a separation or a divorce and maybe it's a little bit messy, right? And so they're like, I wanna move in with Virgo, but is it fair for me to ask Virgo to move in with me when I've got these custody issues or I've got these legal issues or I'm going through this divorce and we're separating assets? So I feel like this person is yearning to take the next step with you, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's other things that are maybe making them hold back because they're like, I don't want to bring Virgo into that messiness. Is it fair? I just keep hearing, is it fair? <laughs> so this might uh, be a conversation that the two of you could have. Like if you find your person is holding back on taking some sort of next step this month, I would ask them why? Because you might assume, oh, do they don't want to take the next step with me? I don't think that's what it is. I think it's more that they're holding back out of some sort of issue of fairness and if you ask them, like, why are you holding back? They might say to you, oh, well, I really love you, Virgo, but I just didn't want you to have to deal with this other drama. And you're like, oh, okay, 
that's not a big deal, <laughs> right? Like I feel that there's a sense of relief here from you in finding out that they're not holding back because of you. It's almost like they don't want to drag you into some sort of drama that they're dealing with. Take it or leave it, right, Virgo? Tell me more about what this person is feeling. Page of Swords, very curious to get to know you more, to connect, to talk. I like that. Tell me more about what they're feeling. And then the Eight of Wands, I love it. <laughs> they're like itching to move forward. They do really, really want to move things forward with you, Virgo. That's why I'm saying if you feel a little bit of energy of them holding back, I really don't think that it's about you. I just keep getting like they don't want to drag you into something that's not your issue. Let me know if that connects with you, Virgo. Like that's coming through really strongly for me. It's like out of fairness to you, they don't want to drag you into something they're dealing with in their life that's potentially stressful but they're also really wanting to move things forward, okay? So it's not that they don't want to, but they're hesitating a little bit for that reason. It's not about you, okay? Uh, tell me what actions they're taking this month. Temperance, I think this is really good, you guys. Temperance energy is balanced. And so to me, this is a positive indicator that they are going to be bringing things into balance within their life which I think is gonna have a really positive impact on your connection. Tell me more, please. Ace of Swords, I love it. They're having some sort of breakthrough moment or some sort of epiphany. I feel like what's gonna happen here is that they're gonna realize they've been holding back a little bit, but then they're gonna have this wake up call where they're like, wait a second, I don't wanna be holding back with Virgo, I wanna move forward. And they're gonna have this moment of clarity where I think they're gonna realize that even if they do have some emotional baggage and they do have some things that they're dealing with, they don't want that stuff to be holding the two of you back from moving forward within your connection. I mean, this could even be new love, like I said. So if you've got new love coming in, you might notice this month that they're a little bit hesitant and holding back and you might be thinking like, do they like me? They do, but they're being a little bit hesitant because of something that's happening here. But I think they're gonna wake up and be like, I gotta get it together because I need to focus on Virgo. I need to focus on this connection because I don't wanna lose Virgo. Tell me what actions they're taking. And then the five of wands, they're fighting for this connection. They're fighting for you. They're not giving up. I also feel like they're managing any sort of conflict in their life. Like I said, it's, there is something showing up in their energy that I feel they need to address. And it could be interfering a little bit with how your relationship is moving forward this month, but I do see them tackling it, okay? But I do think that you might pick up on moments where there's something going on and they're a little bit distracted, but I think you guys just need to talk through what this is so that you can understand where it's coming from. Because I think one of the toughest things sometimes when it comes to love is we will make assumptions about why our partner is doing something. And quite honestly, a lot of the times we make the wrong assumption. So you just wanna be careful with not making assumptions about your person's behavior this month, Virgo. I feel like that's the biggest piece of advice because you might see something happening and think, oh, this is why. And I feel like the reason is actually quite different than what you think. So again, you might think, oh, are they not that into me? That's not what I see you might ask them and they're like, oh, I'm really into you. It's just this other stressor that I'm dealing with, okay? So keep those lines of communication open is what I feel. <laughs> so let's look at you, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you this month. Seven of Pentacles, that's good. I feel like this indicates that you're gonna be patient. I think you're gonna have a level of understanding between you and your person where you're like, look, okay, I know you got a lot going on. I know your job is really busy. I know your divorce is stressful. I know your breakup is stressful. I know your custody issues are stressful. I know your financial issues are stressful, whatever it is. These are examples, right? I think you're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like, that's okay. You know, I understand. As long as you're working through that stuff, then that's all I can really ask. Tell me more about Virgo, please. Seven of Wands. This is good. I'm gonna tell you why this is super important here, okay? Because we've got the energy of your person dealing with something that they need to handle, I think it's really important for you this month to have healthy boundaries around that situation. Don't make their problems your own, Virgo. <laughs> Don't get invested in their drama when it has nothing to do with you, right? Because I feel like they just need to sort out whatever this issue is. So don't let yourself get pulled into the heaviness. It doesn't have anything to do with you. So I feel like this month is about setting healthy boundaries where you're like, I'm here. 
I can support you when you need it, but like, don't let yourself get pulled into the drama. That's what I feel. Tell me more about Virgo. And then the Knight of Swords, beautiful. It's about moving forward, momentum. I feel like there could be moments this month, like I said, where things slow down a little bit, but I think they pick up momentum again very quickly. Like, I don't think you're going to get stuck in any of this energy. I think there might be moments this month that feel like a little bit of a delay, but ultimately you get back on track with this person. What is Virgo feeling? The sun. You obviously feel very happy with this person. You feel like you've got a lot of blessings. You've got a lot of good stuff in your life. Tell me what else Virgo is feeling. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, love it. Love this for you, okay? What is the Three of Pentacles? It's saying, I got your back, right? This is literally what I was saying like a minute ago where I was like, I think you understand that this person's going through something and you're not gonna fault them for it. You're like, yeah, I've gone through stuff too. I've had tough moments and you know, you do what you need to sort it out and I'm here for you. Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> Let me know if I can support you in any way, right? Tell me what else Virgo is feeling this month. And then the world, yeah. I mean, honestly, your energy is feeling really positive, Virgo. <laughs> so I think you've got good things going on. I think you're living your best life. I think you're happy with this person. Yeah, they've got some stuff that they're dealing with, but I think you're very understanding of it. That's what I feel. What actions are Virgo taking? Six of Wands. I love that. I kind of just feel like you're doing really well in some aspect of your life. Like you're just focusing on living your best life and accomplishing your goals. The Six of Wands can be a card of victory and success and recognition. So I feel like you're getting recognition potentially within the workplace with that Six of Wands for something that's going really well. So like I said, it's very much this energy this month where you're focused on your goals, going after what you want and just feeling really good about the things that you're accomplishing. It's very empowered energy. What else? The star, lovely. This is a very hopeful and optimistic energy. I think that you're feeling really good about this person. And again, even though you can see that they need to do some healing, I think with the star card, it's like you're optimistic that they're gonna do what they need to do to heal and release whatever that situation is that they're dealing with. And you're feeling really optimistic about how things are gonna move forward between the two of you. Tell me more, please. <laughs> 10 of cups, okay, we'll take that. I mean, you're obviously looking at this person and you're like, yeah, we're gonna have happily ever after, <laughs> right? It feels really good and it feels really positive here, Virgo. So I, what I'm getting here is that you're just keeping your eye on the prize. You're not going to let this connection be derailed by any sort of external stressors. And I love that for you because I think sometimes what happens in relationships is that if there's something stressful happening, sometimes we let that stress interfere with the relationship. And again, the stress that's happening here, it looks like it's more your person and not you. And I think you're accepting this and you're supportive of it and you're not letting that stress come in and impact what's going on between you and your person, which I honestly think is so important. You're protective of the connection. You're not letting things come in and derail what's happening. And you're just here like, I support you. I care for you. And uh, I'm just living my best life, right? Your energy is like really awesome this month, Virgo. Okay. So moment of truth. What is the potential outcome here? What is the potential outcome? We'll take it. We will definitely take that. <laughs> okay. Uh, more fire energy. I'm just looking down at the cards that I've pulled for you, Virgo. There's a lot of fire energy showing up in the reading today. I feel like this really speaks to the physical attraction, the chemistry, the sparks between you and this person. I also feel like the king of wands and the outcome here is really positive because the king of wands is about maturity, stability, building a life, um, you know, built on like that charisma, that love, that passion. And I feel like all of those things are really embodying the characteristics of this relationship. Could there be some sort of stressor that your person is navigating this month? Yes. Is that going to really do anything to negatively impact the connection between the two of you? I don't think so. And I think a big part of it is because you're showing up in this really mature energy. Because I think it could be very different if you responded different, differently to your person's stress. Like, I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say that you find out that your person is still dealing with some stuff with an ex. In this case, 
what I see in your energy is you're being very mature about it. But another way that somebody might approach it is maybe they get really insecure and they're like, what's going on with the ex? Do you still want the ex? And then you get up in your head. And so in that situation, if you responded more that way, that could lead to more tension. You see what I'm saying? So I think the way that you're showing up is actually really leading to a positive outcome here because I feel like there's a lot of maturity that's being demonstrated within this connection between the two of you. And that's what feels really good. And that's what feels really promising. And that's why I think we've got this beautiful outcome where I'm like, it looks to me like things are going to be just fine between the two of you. And uh, I see you just moving forward within this beautiful connection. All right. So I'm going to leave it there for you, Virgo. If you enjoyed this reading, you know what to do. Please give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. It really does help support my channel. And if you would like to get a personal written tarot reading from me, I do offer those through Etsy. The link is in the description box below this video. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.